I keep telling you that it makes sense to own some Bitcoin or Ethereum, partially as a hedge against inflation and partially for speculation. But I'm also a big believer in homework, in knowing what you own. So how do you get a handle on something that trades almost entirely on headlines and emotions? When it comes to something like Bitcoin, there are no fundamentals. You're not buying a piece of a company. There are no earnings. There's no business to analyze. When we're dealing with the stock market, that's the most important stuff. With cryptocurrencies, though, you can't do fundamental analysis, so you have to fall back on the technicals. And that's why tonight we're going off the charts with the help of Tom DeMarc. He's the pioneering head of DeMarc Analytics with a storied history of timing the markets, whose work has become incredibly popular with many people, but especially right now, crypto traders. His methodology's got a great track record when it comes to spotting tops and bottoms, especially in crypto. And right now he's searching for a bottom in Bitcoin. So take a look at the daily chart of Bitcoin going back to 2017. After a spectacular multiple year run, it's been obliterated in recent months. We're talking about a staggering decline here. According to DeMarc, when an asset loses roughly 50% of its value within six to eight weeks, it often requires a prolonged period to recover. For example, when the stock market collapsed early last year, the COVID crash, that was only a 38% decline. That's a lot smaller than the recent Bitcoin meltdown. Sure, the stock market lost more than half of its value during the financial crisis, but that decline took more than a year. It was much slower than the Bitcoin breakdown. So oddly, if you want a closer historical example, in 1929, we had the Great Crash, where the Dow Jones Industrial Average lost 50% of its value within a couple of months. And while the Dow managed to rebound 52% over the following five months, it quickly started rolling over again, experiencing a multi-year decline before the New Deal turned things around. Based on the 29 example, DeMarc wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin can rally more than 50% from its lows in the not-too-distant future. But after that, he thinks you have to have, you got to monitor it very closely. The truth is, there are only a handful of instances where an entire market has collapsed so far, so fast. And it, it's actually not a great sign. But before we talk about our recovery, we need to figure out whether or not Bitcoin's actually bottomed. Fortunately, that's what DeMarc's methodology is all about. He and his team look for a 13-day countdown pattern that tells them when a rally or a decline is likely to run out of steam. You can find these indicators on his, his website, Symbolic, and I'm going to spell that for you so you can write it down, S-Y-M-B-O-L-I-K. When it comes to Bitcoin, DeMarc's indicators have done a remarkable job of spotting both upside and downside trend exhaustion. That's the key word. Look at all those 13s on the chart near the highs and lows. His tools threw off a sell signal on April 14th, which turned out to be the exact day. Exact day that it peaked. What a call, huh? All right, now let's zoom in on the daily action over the past two months. When Bitcoin peaked on April 14th, the Mark's methodology had downside projections for 32,000 and change and 24,000 and change. We hit that higher price target on May 19th. Since then, Bitcoin's been able to bounce. However, that's not enough for DeMarc to call bottom. The timing setup wasn't there yet. When you only get the price but not the timing, he says, you should expect a less pronounced reaction. So in this case, we're talking about a moderate bounce rather than a big one. Going forward, DeMarc thinks Bitcoin should be able to hold above the May 19th low on a closing basis, although it might dip below those levels on an intraday basis. OK, so what about timing? In terms of the pattern, DeMarc's concluded that the recent action in Bitcoin looks a lot like a time that I remember very well, the crash of 87. Look how they line up in this daily chart. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? I managed to avoid the 87 crash mostly due to luck just like I avoided most of the Bitcoin breakdown because I sold my crypto to buy a farm. I've always said the same thing. Better to be lucky than good. DeMarc says there's no guarantee that this 87 analogy will hold up. But if it does, he'd expect Bitcoin to make a new low in the next three or four weeks. He sees it trading sideways before giving us the final decline that either retests the May 19th low or makes a new one. However, that process could go faster if traders start taking DeMarc's forecast seriously and sell Bitcoin ahead of time, and that's been known to happen. How about the timing setup? Remember, DeMarc uses his proprietary 13-day countdowns to spot moments when a trend is likely to exhaust itself. But because Bitcoin bounced off its lows, it's only on buy countdown four right now. You need 
nine more ugly sessions before this tool will give you a buy signal. Based on the comparison of the stock market in 87, DeMarc thinks it'll take at least three to four more weeks before one of his buy countdowns reaches its mark. Now, obviously, it's all very tentative. But if DeMarc's right, you could get a chance to buy Bitcoin in the not-too-distant future, and I might take it. Uh, look, I think this 87 analogy is good news. After the crash of 87, the stock market bounced back fast. It was making new highs less than a year later. That's much more bullish than the 29 comparison. Remember, though, DeMarc's methodology tells, tells him that Bitcoin hasn't finished going lower yet, meaning it's too soon to buy. Well, while it could take a month for Bitcoin to find a bottom, DeMarc thinks the S&P 500 could be very close to a top. Check out the daily chart. Right now, the S&P is at cell count 11, meaning you only need two more up days before we get to unlucky number 13, which tells DeMarc that this rally's run out of steam. Maybe you make some sales here. However, it's not enough to have the timing countdown. DeMarc will only call a bottom if the s and is also hitting his upside price target at roughly the same time. Unfortunately, the s and is close. He thinks it could peak around 4335, that number there, to 4344, and that's up less than 100 points from here. Some traders might just want to scalp it. Well, what's it all mean? For DeMarc, it means the s and could peak very soon. We're talking sometime next week. Of course, if it does, if it sells off too soon, or if it doesn't hit its price target, then this whole setup goes out the window. But this is definitely something you should keep your eye on. The bottom line, the charts as interpreted by Tom DeMarc suggest that Bitcoin may take another month to bottom while the S&P 500 could peak as soon as next week. Now, considering Tom's track record, that's a good reason to be patient with Bitcoin and approach the S&P with some caution.